All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the q and I'm literally recording this the night that I'm posting it because I have poor time management skills. So nothing fancy, no tracking it to the phone or anything. We're just read the questions, answer the questions. That's it. Let's get right into it. So just like last week, I'm rushing this. Anyway, uh, I didn't get a lot of questions generally. I posted a video asking for some. I got one on that and I've got a few others here from the last video and a couple from, one from Discord. So we're gonna just talk about those. Anyway, so first question. All right, so the first set of questions comes from Son of a Bitch Mad Scientist. Uh, first one is, uh, are the podcasts going to be on your channel or another? Uh, they're on this channel, actually. Uh, you can check out the, uh, they're right over there. That's the playlist. Um, there's two right now, uh, one with Harley, Haven, and myself, and one with just Haven and I. So there's two up. I'm posting podcasts at the end of every month. Literally the last day of every month is when I'm going to be posting the podcast videos. So uh, keep an eye out for those because I might be doing one with another person in person. So that'll be cool. But uh, yeah, end of every month podcast. There's two up right now. Go check them out. I also said in the second podcast, I miscredited the wrong person. So uh, when I said that somebody made a really awesome animation, it was Magic Mochi who made a really awesome animation, not Doodle Dearest. Sorry for the misinformation. Appreciate the animation. It's awesome as always. Next question. So the next question they ask is, uh, have there been any anime that made you rethink some deep aspect about life? Um, there hasn't been one that's really made me rethink an aspect of life. There have been shows that have made me appreciate certain things or, or, or sort of pay more attention to certain things. Like a perfect example, I'll give you a perfect example is, um, it's going to sound so weird, but the show Interviews with Monster Girls really does paint a more exaggerated picture of talking with and being around and, and accepting people who have some kind of disability. In this instance, it's played up by the Monster Girl characters with different disabilities or just the way they are with Dulahan, Vampire, Ice Child, or Ice, Ice Woman, uh, Snow Woman, that's the word. I'm actually, I'm writing a review about that right now, so... Uh, the question's timing was pretty good. Other than that, like, um, I mean, not so much Ruby itself, because there's not really much I can derive from Ruby in terms of life choices, but from the creator of Ruby, Monty Ohm, I, I definitely, making the most of the time you have, um, that was definitely something I took away from him as a person and as a creator. He was always about, like, time and being as efficient as possible and making the most of your time, and I try to do that as much as possible, despite the fact that, like I said at the very beginning of this video, my time management skills suck. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. The next question is, uh, would you ever play visual novels, maybe on the channel, just an idea? Uh, Fate has some good visual novels. I have considered doing visual novels. Uh, it's going to have to depend on the visual novel, primarily because I know that there are a few where other channels that I've watched have gotten takedown notices because the visual novel is being claimed for video content or because it's copyrighted or whatever, because it's this weird gray area with like, it's a game, but it's a book, but it's got, it's weird. And I, I want to do that, but I want to find a game, several games, not just one off, but several games that are actually going to be safe for me to do without losing the channel or at least getting a strike. And the last one, have you ever heard of Doki Doki Literature Club or played it? Yes, I've played it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've played it. Uh, yeah, I've played it. All right, and that's all the questions for Mad Scientist. So the next one is Joe Chain Reef with more questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, if you were a soda slash pop, what would you be, Dr. Pepper or Pepsi? Uh, oh, no, 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 that's, those are examples. I wouldn't be Dr. Pepper. I can't drink Dr. Pepper. I drank so much of it one time that just the taste has literally made me nauseous. <sighs> I mean, if it was what I, if, if I could be something that I drink a lot of, it would probably be like Red Bull um, because that or, or like anything caffeinated because I need that to basically function day to day. If I were to pick one that I would actually enjoy drinking, uh, probably Baja Blast Mountain Dew just because I like Baja Blast when, when I can have it. Recommendation, what would you recommend for a first car? Um, something reliable. Um, my first car was a 2001 Plymouth Neon, not Dodge, Plymouth Neon with 259,000 miles by the, no, yeah, 249,000 miles by the time I totaled it. 
but it was reliable. It sounded like a diesel engine every morning when I started it up, but it ran. Um, honestly, any Korean or Japanese car would probably be a good start, uh, especially if you're looking for a cheap one, something like a cheap Honda Civic, especially like if you can find one with a, a less than 100,000 miles, great. If it's over 100,000 miles for a Honda, that's still brand new, basically. So anything Honda, uh, Hyundai's not bad. I drive a Hyundai right now, so... Yeah, as long as you don't mind rust, something Japanese or Korean. How long will each podcast be and what or where would it be available? Another podcast question. Again, it's on this channel. Um, they're between an hour to an hour and a half long, just depending on what we have to talk about. So far, we got one that's like an hour and 30 minutes and another that's an hour. So it just depends on what we want to talk about. But I'm going to try to keep it like sub two hours so that I don't lose the attention of people who actually want to watch. Which version of the PS5 would you consider buying in the future, digital or standard? Um, Xbox Series X? No, I, I'm an Xbox guy, but PlayStation-wise, I'd get the on digital. Like, I literally bought that console back there that's the Xbox One S, and it's the two terabyte edition, and I've literally never put a disc in it. The disc drive has never spun up for me because I've never used it. So I would get the on digital edition just because, I mean, that's all I do anyway. Plus save the hundred bucks. Yeah. Does Julie go through slash have mood swings? Wants to be petted one moment, then runs away the next moment to sleep. No, they're, they're not really swings. Um, they're more like uh, just a, a switch being flipped. Like there's not kind of like, okay, she seems to be irritated. Okay, she's attacking me. It's literally, I'm sleeping. I want to be petted. I want food. Oh my God, when she wants food, she's so loud. Julie. Yeah? or it's 5 a.m., feed me, and then I'm not gonna let you fall back asleep. <laughs> Those are basically her moods. She's not aggressive, she's just, she finds her ways of getting my attention, most of which include climbing all over me at five in the morning to get me up for food. And that's the end of the comments for the last video, so now we're gonna get into the comments from the video where I was asking four questions, but because I only labeled it as an update, nobody watched it, and only two people gave me quite no one person <laughs> gave me a uh, a question so yeah and that one person is jake miller so thank you jake for actually giving me a uh, <laughs> giving me a question and it says who's the best written character in fairy tale and why do you think so that is a very good question i'm gonna have to no i don't have to think about this yeah now people are yelling this is a very lively Q&A all of a sudden. I'm just gonna talk over them, they're not stopping. So the best written character, now they were the best written character. I don't think anybody's really matched the writing for that character, but they had their moment, they were written extremely well, the arc was completed and then that was it. Uh, that's Gajiel. <laughs> I think Gajiel has had easily the best character arc, one of the best written characters of all, just because he started out as a very clear and defined villain but he was one of the first villains, apart from Leon, he was one of the first villains to not only make a transition, but become an integral part of the fairy tale crew. Like, Leon, yeah, he had his shift, but he went and did his own thing with a different guild with a bunch of other people. But Gajil joined fairy tale and became not only a big player in fairy tale, but in the exclusive group that we follow for a lot of stories. So that's a big promotion for that character to go from bad guy to backstory to background to main character and now if you read fairy tale 100 year quest even more than that so yeah it's pretty cool all right so there's one question in the discord i'm going to cover that first just because i don't think there's a lot of questions in the community post if any so sobi from my discord if you want to join my discord check out the link in the description they ask, what happened to that light novel you said you were making a long time ago? Um, I've completely restructured it. So a lot of the stuff that I had originally intended to do are no, like none of those things are there anymore. Um, the story kind of follows a similar path, but I've completely changed time periods, completely changed main characters, 
completely changed the main goal. <laughs> um, so you are they're they're still going in the same direction, but the goal is different. Um, it's been a lot of refinement and a lot of rewriting. So that's why uh, it's been a long time is because I realized I couldn't really go many places with what I was doing, especially considering I didn't know much about the world I was building or how to build one. So yeah, restructure. <laughs> that's that's what happened. All right, and on to the community post when it loads. Oh, okay, we have more questions. Uh, a lot of people commented apparently. A uh, few of them are actually about Among Us. So if you guys don't know, I played Among Us with a couple friends and that was sort of my getting into how Among Us works. And ideally, I'm going to be playing Among Us with my Discord and, and fans. So if you want to join in on that at some point, I'm planning on doing it. So check out the link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's, that's that. So for the... Through three people who asked about Among Us. Yes, I'm planning on playing Among Us with you all. Uh, I did a live stream of that, so it's up there if you want to watch me suck at it because I never played it before in my life. Uh, okay, so uh, Depressed World, a uh, fitting name for 2020. Uh, they ask, uh, what type of anime do you watch? What kind of anime do you have? <laughs> That's, yeah, I would, I, I watch anything. I, I really don't have a preference. I would watch whatever's put in front of me. So, uh, apart from Boku no Pika. That's my limit. Next up is Lost Dark Lord, and they ask, uh, would you ever have us roast you? I've considered it. I have considered it. I've, I've had a couple ideas about that. Um, so it's not off the table. M maybe. I'll, I'll leave it at maybe. Anime Ing dub. Uh, anime English dub. Uh, are you watching Hir Hiru H Higurashi remake? I'm not. I am not. I should, but I'm not. I actually answered this question. This was by uh, Creator, with a space between the T and the O, it's whatever. Um, they put, if possible, can you please tell me in little detail about what problem a person have to face? It's, the, the English isn't great here, it's fine. Um, they're basically asking, um, why can't you, like, what's the problem with making reaction videos that show your face? Uh, why can't you monetize those? Why is there a risk of the video is getting taken down or the creator getting taken down. Um, and I went into a, a decent amount of detail. There's no synopsis. There's no brief detail way of doing this, but essentially there's a difference between derivative content and transformative content. And there are some instances where derivative content can be done correctly, um, if it's very brief features of different anime or different shows or just content in general, you can derive the form of video you intend to make from another piece of content, but you can't use the entire thing. So it's not so much derivative content as it is a derivative segment of the content. Whereas when you do derivative content exclusively, you are only deriving your content from somebody else's content. And that is why you can't monetize it because the primary reason for your content to exist is not something you own. Transformative content, on the other hand, is something like a review where you are taking the content and using it, but putting it to a different format. In my instance, I'm not putting the entire anime up in a review for people to watch, for, for, for me to watch. I am literally putting it up to refer people to a certain scene that I'm talking about in an anime. That is transformative. Or in an instance where you're taking an existing IP, intellectual property, and using it in a short film as a background character or something else, that is transformative. You are putting something from something else into a different element. And those things are 99% your creation with the 1% being something you pulled from something else as reference. Whereas derivative, it's... 80 to 99% somebody else's with you slapping the last 1% on. So that's the problem. Didn't mean to go on a rant there. I've just, I've dealt with that kind of crap so much that it's sort of, there's no brief answer to it, unfortunately. But either way, that's it. That's when all the comments, please, please leave more comments on this. More questions. I want more questions from you guys because these videos are getting harder to make if I don't get a lot of questions. And... Fortunately, I managed to scrub up a few because I wasn't expecting people to actually respond to the, the community page because I didn't see any, uh, but I was wrong. A lot of people did that, so thank you for that. Leave more questions. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. There is going to be a review for God of High School coming out on Friday, so I hope to see you all there. 
live streams Monday, and I will see you all in whatever the next video is you guys decide to watch on this channel. Apart from that, make sure to be there and have a good one. Thank you.